Hello, it's Jim Games here once again, and welcome to this new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In this video, we're going to just fix some bugs. For example, this jumping bug, if we keep holding jump button, we will endlessly jump. And also, if we have the inventory open, we can still chew. And also, if we trip, uh, drop an item, we can still see the name box after without the name and a few more so yeah let's just start it so the first thing will be the jump bug so let's open the bb player character and here on the event graph you want to find the jump input and only thing that we want to do here is we want to Get from the started and connect to here and cut this link to this triggered so it plays from started instead of triggered now let's just move this a little bit further down like that now it should work yes it's not jumping endlessly anymore okay the next thing will be the uh, inventory zoom thing and that we can fix by going to the pp player character and here where we have it here on input action aim what we want to do we want to move all this a little bit further let's actually select all and deselect the actual event so control and left click now let's move everything a little bit further like this and let's actually make this look a little bit better also so let's get this closer and let's uh, put this here add a reroute to here like that and now we want to get the condition event and we can just uh, duplicate the can look and let's call this can aim like that and here we don't actually have to change anything it can be like this we can close this now let's add a branch so b and left click let's connect to the pressed from the true let's get the can aim and let's connect it to here and actually we can change this output also to can aim now when we compile save and play we open the inventory and right click we cannot zoom anymore so yeah let's continue the next one will be the key uh collision so let's go to the models key one let's open the key one static mesh so let's get close to the key like that so we can actually see it now let's go to the collision let's if you can see the remove collision you want to click that and then let's add box simplified collision let's click on the collision let's click r so we can scale it down let's make it like this size let's click w so we can move it again let's move it to here now let's hold alt and let's track from it so we will create another uh, collision let's click R so we can scale it again and like this we want to basically make it look like the key okay that's good enough so let's save let's close this now our key is on the table correctly and also when we drop it let's see you can see it stays there it doesn't go through it anymore okay now let's actually fix this one pending kill or garbage yes let's kill this uh fix this one so what we want to 
do? We actually want to go back to the people player character. Let's open it. And here we want to go to the interaction trace under the interaction. And here, after we check if the interaction uh, hit actor ref is not equal to the new hit actor from the true here, what we want to do is we want to actually move all this a little bit further, uh, like that. Now we want to get from this. Actually, we want to cut this link, so Alt and left click. Let's right click and convert to validated get. Now let's connect it to here. And from is valid, we want to connect to here and reference to the target. And from is not valid, we want to skip this node. And let's add some reroutes. Like this. So if this is valid, it will set the focus back to unfocused. And if it's not valid, it will uh, skip it. So compile, save, and let's try again. Now, when I pick up some items and I open inventory, I will try everything like that. And I close. We don't have the error anymore. Okay. And the next thing is oh yeah uh, we want to remove the name box after we drop an item so let's go actually here to the start of this interaction trace function the same as before and here what we want to do is simple as we want to add a branch here to the start Let's actually move this a little bit further down, like this. And let's connect this to here and from the true to here. Now we want to create a Boolean variable. And let's call it ignore interaction trace. And let's move it under the interaction. Uh, let's actually duplicate it and let's rename it to inner interaction trace uh, duration like this and let's change it to be float and now let's compile so we can change the default value let's change it to point two like that compile save now let's get the inner interaction trace to here and let's get the not boolean so if we are not ignoring the interaction trace then we can continue and i actually want to move everything to the right uh, like this so i can get these to the better spot like that and now how we can actually make this uh, variable work is we want to go to the uh, event graph and find some empty space for example here under the stamina field delay let's move this in input action crouch a little bit further down and let's create a custom event here Let's rename this custom event to be ignore interact um, trace event or something like that. Now we just want to set this ignore interaction trace to true. After that, we want to re regrabble delay or however it's pronounced. And there we want to get the ignore interaction trace duration. And let's connect it to there. And after that, we want to just set it back to false. So we can call this function and it will set this inter ignore interaction trace to true. And it will wait the duration that you can also set. And after that, it will reset it. Okay. Now let's compile 
save and we will have to go to the BPC inventory so you can double click from here actually you can't you will have to right click and edit PPC inventory now we want to go to the drop item uh, function I will actually close these others and here on the drop item after the branch here on the uh, sphere trace by channel let's move all this to the right and now actually let's move it a little bit more now let's get the player ref and from here we want to ignore interact trace from the false like that going to here and let's actually make this match this so now before we spawn the dropped item we will call this ignore interact trace so it will wait 0.2 seconds until we can uh, use the interaction trace again so it will ignore this actor's interaction so compile save all purpose map and play so now when we for example click this up and we drop it you can see no name box anymore and I had something else oh yeah some of you guys asked me how to actually remove the item from the inventory after you have used it so I have already done it but uh, I will just quickly show you you will have to go to the hard folder and to the W in inventory slot and here we want to go to the graph and to the event graph and here on the activate after you remove the item from the inventory uh, sorry <laughs> after you uh, before you open close inventory you will have to call this function and connect the inventory index to here and amount set it to one and it will work so yeah i actually think that was all for this video if you liked what you saw please click the like button and subscribe for more and yeah hope you have a great day and see you in the next one